it'll never replace like um, staple crops that we have. So right. like canola, wheat, barley, oats, like these things that require mass amounts, but specialized things like tomatoes, right? I mean, you can still grow them in fields in your backyard. There is opportunities there for, uh, for high value crops, let's say that are like, people are very interested in having tomatoes that taste a specific way, right? So that's, it's not like you're just growing fields of tomatoes to go into like some maybe sauce manufacturing scenario. Right. Um, but you want that 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 nice tomato. And so I think there are huge opportunities there. And I, and I do think that, I mean, not to get to, you know, to space travel, but at some point, okay, presumably, we were gonna pre go there. presumably no. like we're going to have to have food or whatever to go out into, right, yeah. you know, as somebody who loves always science food. Fiction. Yeah, they're always food. Yeah, silly. <laughs> silly, they don't want to eat food, right? And there's space travels. But um, more realistically would be um, some of the remote communities of Canada yeah. Yeah. where it's expensive for them to procure those foods because of the logistics of getting it there. Mm -hmm. You could envision possibly somebody creating, this would require a whole bunch of different expertise, but creating a self-sustaining grow operation where they could have fresh fruits and vegetables there on site and they don't need to be transported there. 